mysteries and orbs kind of fall under the mysteries category and I have some unbelievable sightings for you guys today and including some pictures from you the subscribers and some of the orbs that you've been seeing so I can't wait for today's episode so orbs and UFOs are very compatible subjects and I consider them a mystery because they're not yet solved anyhow so this sighting is is really cool it happened in July 10th of 1999 around 2 30 p.m. And the witness was in a car with his friends. They all saw it, and they all agreed as to what had happened during this sighting. Basically, what they saw was a ball of light about the size of a large beach ball appearing in front of them out of nowhere, directly in front of his car. And obviously, there was a bit of a panic in the car. They did describe that it appeared to be floating, hovering, and flying about three feet off the ground. And it was moving with them in their car. There was no physical structure to this orb. It appeared to be literally made out of light, and the light varied in color and was dynamic, not static. In other words, it wasn't just a singular ball of light that didn't change. It, uh, he didn't clarify if it, it shape-shifted in any way. Some orbs tend to have some dynamic movements. All we know is that he says it was not static. And he also described it as impossibly bright, like no other light he's ever seen, and it was the middle of the day. He said it also seemed to be matching the speed of his car. So he was going about 40 miles per hour at first. He then slowed down, not wanting to drive into it. And then the orb seemed to slow down with him and remain the same distance, equidistant, in front of his car. He sped up a little and it did the same thing. I can only imagine what was going on in that car at that moment as they're watching this thing keep pace with them. Hence the nickname I've given it, the UFO Orb Stalker. Um, anyhow, so they said it was only there for maybe 10 or 15 seconds before it vanished, just that it appeared into thin air. So they didn't see it coming, they didn't see it going, it was there, it was dynamic, and then it disappeared. Uh, this sighting was in 1999, so of course they didn't have any iPhones or anything like that to take photos, and the witness describes it as saying that years later he created this picture using Photoshop and a screenshot from Google of approximately where it had occurred. Now this is currently under MUFON investigation with investigator Diane Hall and I can't wait to see the follow-up to this. This image created by the witness is one of the best recreations of an orb sighting I've seen and definitely the fact that it's an orb stalker meaning it keeps pace with something is very intriguing. The fact that it was dynamic the fact that it had colors that are not traditional or typical to a lot of orb settings that are sent to me. Um, the color that he used to portray in this is uh, much brighter and much more blue than the typical orbs that are sent to me at Shed Show Talk. So I am, <laughs> you can hear it in my voice, I'm absolutely mesmerized by this sighting. I've got a few more orbs for you guys next. Shed Show Talk is all about the conversation and we like viewer submissions. So anything you see here, remember to document it, time, date, location, any other factors that you think are relevant to your sighting, and they could turn up in a video like us. As Paul says, keep your eyes to the sky and be ready to record. As I like to say, keep your ear to the ground, and if you hear your heart thump in, press record and capture that sound. So these are just some of the catchphrases we're working on, but in other words, we want to hear from you. So thank you to Dale for submitting this photo. Now he took this on his Samsung 4G LTE smartphone. Uh, he was located in Cocoa Beach, Florida. It was obviously late at night behind a hotel. I'm not sure where the city lights are, and actually that's not necessarily impacting this image at this point. Um, if you notice around 2 o'clock, I've circled it for you, hopefully it shows up on the video, a red-colored orb. What do you, the viewers, think this is? Help Dale figure this out and post your comments. I'm going to keep tabs on the comments and see if we can do a follow-up for Dale. I've also received some positive feedback about the video I did earlier uh, with Shed Show Talk about orbs in the hospitals and there were two clips that I showed you. One was a video of a daughter talking in the room as her mother sadly was passing away and her mother had complained about these orbs. Now I've had various people look at these orbs and it's fairly unanimous that it is not believed to be dust or anything in the filter. Um, they're very clear images and tend to be quite typical to an orb phenomena. The second one obviously came out of a pediatric unit and this orb was particularly unique because it shape-shifted. It moved around. 
and some of the orbs that have been sent to me recently almost appear to have arms or legs or like Paul's video he did on UFO News where it looked almost like a fairy or perhaps a moth or some sort of butterfly but the orb literally flew through a glass door. So there's a couple of different varieties of orbs that we're starting to see in the stories sent to us. If you find anything like this, remember to send it to us. And if, you, if your heart starts thumping, remember to press record and catch the sound. If you recall, the first orb we looked at today was a rendering, and it was a blue color. I was able to find one other image of a blue orb, and it's on your screen right now. If you look at that blue, it's really quite stunning and you'll see the circle within a circle. We could definitely zoom in on this orb and take a closer look. I'd like to know more about where this orb came from, but it was sent to me without a credit, so if you guys know, let me know, and I'll definitely look further at it. Of course, there's other types of orbs that have uh, some kind of rainbowing to them, where they're a little more transparent, and you can actually see through them. There's discussion as to what these might be. Some people believe they're beings, other people believe they're disembodied spirits from people, and others believe they're ghosts. And I'll actually have some video of some alleged ghost orbs coming up. Uh, but not all of them are bad. There's also the concept of smiling orbs, and if you look at this one, which was posted to a site by Kathy Owen, you can actually see a smiling face inside of this orb. So people who are new to orbs are often surprised when I tell them that frequently when we zoom in on an orb, you can actually identify faces. And this furthers the theory that perhaps what we're seeing are disembodied spirits or beings. And as a result, some of them have personalities. They come with different characteristics and sometimes they impact the environment differently. So there's also stories surrounding what happens to the environment around these orbs. Um, so definitely seeing a smiling orb is a lot better than seeing some of the other orbs that are out there. Uh, the concept that orbs could be ghosts Typically, when I get these type of sightings sent to me, um, ghost-type orbs typically are harder to see through. They're, they're not transparent. And they can often follow an individual or stay anchored around a particular physical landmark. These orbs are typically a bit larger than some of the more semi-transparent orbs that I've seen. And in this case, this orb is located next to a girl, but in the next picture you can see it's located in a cemetery and in this case the orb is in motion you can see it moving from left to right on the screen what is this you tell me but currently people think it is a ghost okay next up i have a sighting for you based in a haunted site in spain and videographers went and captured what they believe are two orbs and they believe one has the face of the devil and the other is a ghost when I looked at the video, I actually saw a third element on the wall here, and as you zoom in, you can see some imaging on the wall, and I'm very curious to know what that could be. Uh, this site is well known and it is haunted, so perhaps if you're in Spain, you can go check it out. Next up, we have uh, some footage from Ghost Finders in Indiana, and they had gone into what appears to be a school, and they note that an object comes out of the left and interacts by watching them, and then freezing and moving around. You'll notice there's somebody standing there on the right. I'm not sure who that person is, if that's part of their video crew, or if perhaps that's who they feel is the person coming out of the room. I mean, this is a giant mystery. Uh, you can see I've circled the object on the left that's hovering and waiting, but what do you think's going on on the right? When I first saw this, I did assume that it was somebody in their crew, but they didn't make that clarification, so now I'm, I'm looking to you guys. What do you think? Oh man, what a video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, you guys, and let us know if you have any other sightings, orbs, things like that. You can submit it to us straight onto our channel on YouTube. Send us a message. Uh, but remember, if you see something, record it, and like Dale, you could end up in our video. See you next time. I'm Beth with Shed Show Talk.